Welcome to another Guide 2 with me, Mr. Sealy P. The Roper, Tiger 6 and the Panther 2. These are sugar beet harvesters available in the mod hub. They are not new mods now, they've been out a little while, but with all the different mods coming out and the seasons pack and the aggravation pack and um, I just hadn't got around to doing a guide to on them so here we are finally a guide to I know someone asked me to do this a little while back and I apologize for the delay but it is now here um, these are a nice addition because I've been saying for a while we need some more sugar beet harvesters however there are drawbacks but a couple of things that really kind of make them a little bit like the ones that are already in game um, potato harvesting equipment would also be good but I'm going to be looking at these specifically. So I will do what I usually do, a bit of history about the company first. Everyone loves a bit of history about the company. So Roper was formed, started by a gentleman called Herman Painter, And in 1972, at the age of 25 years old, he designed and built his own sugar beet harvester on his family farm out of scrap parts from a local scrap metal dealers and, and you know, all different bits of farm machinery was a bit of a designer and creator and yeah built his own sugar beet harvester which is pretty incredible um and then not long after that went off to work for a little known company i think 1974 called holmer they were a little company then they're not a little company anymore he went to work for holmer as a freelance designer and builder and he worked with them for about 10 years then in 1986 founded his own company Roper um, they're based in Sittlesdorf in Bavaria which is where his family farm is and his family farm still runs so he's got a lot of first-hand experience of potato harvesting sugar beet harvesting and all of that transfers over into his designs and all the, the new stuff they do um, the company is now run with himself and uh, a doctor Eberhard, I want to get it right, Eberhard Crail, I think it is. Um, and what they've also done is built next to the factory a biogas heating plant, a test biogas heating plant, to test the fermentation properties and biogas heating properties of sugar beet to see how well that would work as like a biomass. Um, it's quite impressive I have to say looking through the history of the company um, but anyway these two particular vehicles uh, every year they have a show at the Sittlesdorf factory where they show off um, sugar beet harvesting they open the factory up to, to people to come and visit and look around or whatever in 2016 to a crowd of I think between 12 and 15 thousand people I think it said they showed off the new Tiger 6 um, obviously it's gone through from Tiger or 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way up to Tiger 6 and the new Panther 2 the Tiger 6 at the time of release in 2016 was the largest I believe sugar beet harvester in the world and the Panther had all sorts of amazing you know new technology and stuff on board my initial thoughts when this first came out these mods was well they're, they're just reskins of the the uh, Holmers Obviously, I didn't know then that he had worked with and for home Holmer for a while, so it's no surprise that the designs aren't, you know, are, are very, very similar. But there are differences. There are subtle differences. These mods are amazing. And before I forget, these mods are done by Chrisu70, um, and they are very, very nice mods. My initial impressions of them just being a reskin were way, way off. The designs are, I will say, completely different. This one is the triple axle, the larger of the two, the Tiger 6. The double axle is the Panther 2. Um, in the mods, you can get the Holmer, uh, the larger one is the Terrados T440, and you can get a modded T430, which is the same size as the Panther 2. Um, I'll have a look around them in a minute. We'll have a look at the vehicles themselves and what they actually do. But first things first, let's jump into the store. So in the store under beet harvesting, we've got our in-game versions. We've got the Homer T440, 495,000 to buy and a tank capacity of 45,000 litres. If we scroll across another one, we've got the Terrados T430, which is, like I say, a mod. That's 435,000 with a capacity of 30,000 litres. Then we scroll across to the new ones. 
the Roper Panther, which is the like for like with the T430, is exactly the same price, exactly the same tank capacity. However, the horsepower is massively increased. Um, it's 768 horsepower, and I believe that's provided by a new inline Volvo. I believe it's a Volvo power plant. Um, that's a big jump up, 626 to 768. That's a lot of horsepower to be playing with. You can see subtle differences in both the designs right there, but we will have a look at them in a bit more detail. Um, so yeah, it's, they're pretty much like for like. Price is the same, tank capacity is the same. We'll go up to the larger version, the Tiger 6, 495,000, which is identical to the Terra DOS T440. Tank capacity, 45,000 litres, which is exactly the same as the T440. Um, however, again, with this one, it's got the 768 horsepower power plant, um, so it's got a lot more horsepower. This will just come down to your preferred colour and design, really. It'd be different if you could buy this one for the same money and it had a, you know, 60,000 litre capacity, or it was half the price with the same tank capacity. But they are pretty much like for like. Um, I do like the Roper designs, I have to say. And like I say, my initial thoughts of they look identical, not true at all. So what we'll do now is actually have a look at them. They are very, very nice vehicles. Now the T440, I kind of always look at these beet harvesters in sections. You've got like a front section, a centre section and a rear section. Um, and on the, the the difference, I've got the T440 over here actually, I'm going to compare the two in a minute. Um, on the T440, the, the pipe section here is here. This section is kind of the same. The rear section is completely different. This is all closed in. On the Homer it's not. This seems to be higher off the ground. Um, I, I, I have to say I really do like this. I think the cab design is different. I think this has got a slightly more rounded cab. Um, and the, the actual roof of the cab on the Holmer is more rounded. This has got like, this sort of dip section in the middle. But they're brilliant, brilliant, brilliant mods. Um, this one's got the uh, HR9 header. This one's got a HR12 header on it, um, which obviously much, much wider. Um, the standard in-game ones for the Holmers only went up to a 9. And I think when the, the modded T430 came out, it came with a HR12 header, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and I think it came with a 6 as well, I'm trying to remember now. But anyway, um, we'll have a jump in, let's have a jump inside this and have a look. Kind of, kind of spin around the whole thing as well, but... It looks a lot bigger, but I, I don't, I'm not sure if it is. Let's lift that header up. Now a lot of the actual features themselves are exactly the same as they were um, on the original version, but this has got if I put this right four beacons, two at the front, two at the back. The lighting's gonna be harder to see. Well, I've got front lights, side lights, there are no rear lights, it doesn't need any rear lights because it doesn't work from the rear, it unloads from the side, turn those off, to open up press uh, L1 and X, oh no I'm on the header still aren't I, whoops, anyway that's the header, we can close the header, and down again, Let's turn those beacons off, turn to the vehicle itself, we can unfold. Like I say, not much difference to, to the whole motor. Exactly the same thing. The animations are very, very smooth, very, very neat. Pipe, I believe, is down. We'll open the pipe out. And then if it's like the other one, I think. Yeah, we can raise and lower. If I'm doing L on the PlayStation controller, L1, R1, and the right joystick, we can raise and lower the pipe to whatever height we want, depending on the particular trailer you're unloading to. I mean, it will, it will still unload from very, very high. It doesn't have to be all the way down. But if you're unloading onto the ground as well, you can just do it all the way down there, if you wanted to. So, let's pull that up. Fold that. What I'm going to do, 
just take it over next to the Holmer <coughs> just to get an idea for length and the design differences so like I said about the pipe if we come above a little bit I think lengthwise they're pretty much the same if anything I think the uh, yeah, this is slightly longer only slightly interestingly though the tank capacity is exactly the same but if you look at where the pipes are positioned the pipe on this one's at the back on the Holmer it's about halfway um, other than that the design features on those bits are exactly the same cab more rounded on the Holmer on the Roper it's more of a square topped cab more rounded at the front the back section on the Holmer you can see all of the sort of engine parts radiator all that kind of stuff um, and the, on the Roper that's all boxed in and closed in and it's true to the design of the actual vehicles um, you know the bumper designs it's all pretty much it's all there the elements are all still there but the features of each particular vehicle are have been kind of faithfully recreated and it it really does look very very nice it's a welcome addition like I say it will come down to which color you prefer to use if you just fancy something different and using something a bit different that stands out a bit you're gonna go for you know the newer version if you want to because other than that capacities etc are identical so yeah I don't know I you know sometimes you get a mod come out and it's way way cheaper and you think well I'm, I'm gonna use that of course I am because it's gonna save me a fortune they're the same price same tank capacity I know I've said that repeatedly but you know it's a fact it's, it's something that is worth pointing out um, but I'd say Chris who's 70 done a brilliant job on these mods they look amazing I do like the Tiger design obviously it's the Tiger 6 let's turn it off um, you've got the Tiger on that one and then you've got the Panther on the other one and again with that kind of taste test I often do get right up close anywhere where there are decals anywhere there are details nothing blurs it's it's not it's been done incredibly well I mean look at that it doesn't matter how close you get that panther looks phenomenal this it's a very very tidy very very neat mod now again people might have been using these already and probably have done for quite a while you will get always get people say oh well I think that you know the texture on this is wrong or something's awful and it may well be but you know for a first glance I'm, I'm kind of looking at it thinking what do we think um, I like it now as far as the steering goes let's jump back in we'll have a look in cab as well nice rope seat nice detail in the cab start it up everything works on the uh, on this touch screen there very nice times right on the clock that's quite impressive I have to say matching up with the time in the right hand corner now I'm going to put this on just to show you on so if I do R1 right at the bottom it says steering at the moment I've got a turn steering if I do L3 I go to crab steering and it sets the whole thing crab that side do it again crab steering right switches it all over to the other side do it again all wheel steering now interestingly I was always in my head all wheel steering do that all wheel steer that's perfect that's exactly what you need but actually if I put it now onto the next one which is turn steering because it turns the cab as well it has a much much tighter turning circle than it does on all wheel steering because I always thought the turn steering just did the front and didn't do the back wheel so it was more like driving a normal vehicle but it's, it's not it does the back ones and turns the cab as well and that turning circle is way 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 tighter straight around there than if you do it with all wheel steering so there you go a little, a little something so what I will do let's see this in action shall we Go. 
animation is very good. See the sugar bits in the bottom tray spinning round. Coming up from the header. See just in the gap there. Pulled up into the top and into the tank. This is filling up fairly quickly. Very, very nice indeed. And like I say, you may be thinking, well, and it's the same as the other one, do we really need to have a guide to? I've said it before and I will say it again, sometimes people just like to see what it looks like, see it in operation, see the design of it other than just a picture on a screen. And it can make a difference between whether someone wants to get it as a mod or not get it as a mod. Um, yes, it works just like the sugar beet harvesters that were in game already. But it's a very nice mod, very detailed, great textures, um, great animations. I like it. Um, like I say, it, it would, for me, it would have been more of a good, not a game changer, but it would have made me consider using it more, I would imagine, had the price been different or a larger tank capacity or anything like that. Um, I may well still do on a Let's Play anyway because it's something different. That's what I said before. You know, you, after a while you get, not bored of, but it's the same things when you want to do beet harvesting, you've either got the, the smaller machinery or this. Well, not this, the original Homer. So now you've got something else you can use instead. Like I say, the only difference is the colour and stuff. But for doing Let's Plays and things, it just keeps it fresh, keeps it different. Um, next thing we're looking for, potato harvesters. If anyone's out there and wants to do some potato harvesters, that would be wonderful. But... It's very, very nice. And that. Actually, I'm just thinking, is it worth showing the other one? It does exactly the same thing, but I can get it going. Bear with me one second. So, the Twin Axle Panther 2. All the detailing is exactly the same. The cab design inside is exactly the same. Although the clock is out by a minute. <sighs> Have to get that sorted. Um, but other than that, it's exactly the same. Let's get that running. This has got the slightly smaller header. This has got the HR9. And obviously because of the fact it's a, it's a shorter version, the pipe on this one is at the front, not at the back, as with the other version. It's a nice compact unit, this one. If you've got smaller fields and things like this, this may well be a lot easier to manoeuvre about and use in the particular fields you've got than the larger version. It is cheaper, but not by a long way. But all in all, very, very nice pack. Great job by Chrisu70. And that's about it from me on the Roper Sugar Beet Harvester pack the Tiger 6 and the Panther 2. I hope you've enjoyed it, found it useful or informative in some way. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.